welcome back team and today we're doing full body strings workout challenge plus quick and effective abs focus the lottest session at the very end let's dive in right away and let's begin with a quick quality warm-up first prepare to sweat to burn and build incredible strings today so we will begin with a simple walk to plank shoulder top join me guys when you're ready let's jump start this workout and I will give you a heads up what to expect from this amazing strings workout challenge today. You can see I have a lot of sets of the dumbbells today. If you don't have as different weights, you can definitely guys use instead the one heavy dumbbell we're gonna be using at the first set of the exercise. You can use two lighter ones. And I have today my 40 pound set that's right, I decided to challenge myself. My 15 pound set, each dumbbell 15 pounds, I'm going to be using for the isolated strings block, block number two. I have a light dumbbell as well for the abs exercises, which is completely optional. So go ahead and walk forward with me top top. We have a couple more books just like this to finish this first warm up exercise and you can see I'm using the bench today guys one more here if you don't have the bench you can have your you can use your stairs or any stable platform or you can do this workout without the bench the bench is absolutely optional take a look guys at your second exercise at your demo screen this is your plyometric lunges to your squats if you're not doing your jumps you can definitely do just the reverse lunges in just a squat. Begin your work, guys. We have only a few. This one will definitely to bring the heart rate up quickly. But again, if you avoid in any plyometrics due to the ankles or knees injuries, totally fine. Do just your lunges and do regular air squats all the way, guys. Good job. Nice and low. One two, three, nice and low. Give me a couple more. And one, two, three, back. Excellent. And your final warm-up exercise today, use your bench with me. If you do have one, this is your mountain climber. Prepare guys, begin your work. If you're using the bench, try to touch the bench with me. If you doing that just on your mat guys try to top your feet on the level of your hands this is it keep on working so we have guys two main blocks today and we also have a finisher give me a few more your first block is your full body strings and we have guys four exercises and that block we're gonna do this block for two full rounds Give me four more, three more, two more. This is it. Feels really, really good. So come on up, take a quick sip of water, stay hydrated. Now I'm sure we are ready. And we will begin with your first exercise of this first full body strength block. Take a look guys quickly on your demo. This is your box jump guys to your power jack on the floor i'm going to be using 20 pound dumbbell just one so if you have lighter ones you can combine the weight or just use a lighter weight if you're not sure about your jump then make sure you just simply step in on the bench or any other stable services and step back down without the jump that's going to be your modification Prepare guys, hold the position. We have 10 reps for each exercise on this block. Up, down, power jack, all the way. Two, down, power jack, all the way. Three, down, power, beautiful guys. Only 10, four, all the way, up. Very challenging with the 20 pounds. Overhead, same all the way overhead. 
perfect. We have only four to finish. This is a very sweaty one. Remember, you're not sure about your box jumps. That's fine. I want you to be safe. Make sure you do step in and step out. Also, very sweaty. One more, guys. Push it through. Excellent. We can put our heavy dumbbell back or whichever dumbbell you're using. Definitely needs a sip of water. And let's go ahead and take a look at the second exercise of this strings block. This is your regular skier squat with a tricep extension in the squat. I'm going to go with small pound weights, pretty challenging, and we have 10 repetitions as well. Give me good quality skier swing with tricep. Prepare, begin. One. Keep your knees slightly soft, guys, on the way up. Abs braced. This is good. Weight makes all the difference in this strength, strength training challenge. If you're using a decent heavy weight, which what we're doing for the strength training, much heavier than for hit or any other workouts we do together, you're gonna feel it. All right, guys. Just in case, couple more. Come back. We got this. We're ready to put our 12 pound set or whichever dumbbells that you're using back. I'm gonna be doing exercise number three. Take a look quickly at the demo, which is your lunges, right and left. And then we do deadlift. I will be doing it with 20 pounds in each hand. I definitely want to challenge myself today in the mood for that. As I said, we're gonna build incredible strengths. All right, my friends, give me good quality. The reverse, chest above the hips, begin your work. We're not in a hurry. Our one rep is two lunges and one deadlift. Front knee, guys. Above, front, ankle. Watch your shoulders on your deadlift. You've got this. I know, Tim, you all have a great form over there. Just a little reminders. Lunges, chest lifted. Try not to look down. Deadlift, abs braced. Shoulder blades connected. Come on back. This is it. 20 pounds, really challenging for me today. Keep on working. We are halfway through. Only 10 reps for this exercise as well. This is good. Try to step farther to your lunges. So you challenge your legs. It's really hard. Oh, is the 40 pounds total. All the way back. We have only three reps to finish. Long reps, but only three. Good job, keep on working. Challenging for balance with this weight. All right, my friends, final one. If you followed my pace. Perfect. I'm ready to put this dumbbell, 40 pound dumbbells back down for a few minutes, for a couple minutes. Let's take a sip. Your next exercise is your abs and core focus one. Your light dumbbell is absolutely optional. We're gonna be sitting on the bench 
and we're gonna be hovering legs over. If you're using your weight, guys, don't hold it with your shoes, try to hold it with your ankles. Depends, of course, what type of shoes you have, but I want you to be safe. If you hold it with your ankles and stick the hat of the dumbbell up, it's gonna be very secure. I need you to grab your bench on the side, 10 reps, one. This is your one rep, right and left. Two. Scoop the stomach in, three. You can do this exercise without the weight, four. All the way, hover over, five. Six. I got you. Seven, guys. Quads on fire, abs on fire. Two more reps left. This is it. This was challenging. I wouldn't say incredibly challenging, but that was hard with the weight. All right, let's drink the water. We're gonna take this block number one all the way from the top one more time, and then we will forget about it till the end. All right. I am gonna get back to my 20 pounder. I didn't really like it, but I'm gonna do it again. Again, you can step up on the bench instead the box jump. Make sure if you do jump, you do it on a stable platform, whatever you're using. All right, prepare. Let's crack this one. Power jack. Try to get the majority of the links of your feet on the bench. Halfway through. We're going, guys. Quality team. One, two, three more reps to finish. This is it. Perfect. That was probably the most challenging exercise, especially if you did the jumps of this entire workout. Go ahead, guys, and drink your water. We're gonna move to the second one, your stairs floor with a tricep extension. I'm gonna be using my small pounds dumbbells. On the position, guys. Dumbbells over the shoulders. Bend your knees slightly. Hit it. One, two, three, four. Halfway team. This is it. Give me a couple more. Couple more, just in case. Perfect. Well, we're gonna go for the reverse lunges. I did use my 20 pounds because there is also a deadlift. So I'm gonna go for the 20 pounds one more time. 10 long reps, guys. So go ahead and get on the position. Shoulders up, back and down. Chest above the hips, begin. Two lunges, remember, two lunges. All the way. We're getting stronger and stronger every single day. Our 60 days spark workout challenge is almost complete already. In the summer, guys, next door. All right, team. Stay with me. Two lunges. All the way back. We are halfway through. Don't hurry up, guys. 
Give me good quality. Reverse step. This is it. You need to brace your core when you're lunges. Every single repetition, especially if you're using heavy weights like I do. All right. Those 20 pounds in each hand. Incredibly demanding. We have only two more reps. Just in case, guys, I miscount. I would rather to miscount to do 11 than to do nine. Okay. We're ready to forget about this exercise for good. Okay, my friends. Go ahead and rock your 20 pounders or whichever weight you use today. We're ready for exercise number four, that single dumbbell little one is optional. Sweat is rolling. You can use it with just a body weight, but adding the weight to that definitely makes this much more challenging ankles, guys. So the head of the dumbbell is sticking above your ankles. Begin one. Give me a good healthy half circle above the bench. This is it. We are five reps through. We have only three full reps to finish, right and left. Last one, guys. Finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it. That was brutal. On quads, after what we did with the legs and on the abs. All right, drink your water. We're going to forget about these four exercises for good for today. And we move into the isolated strings block. We have, guys, four exercises in this block as well. We're going to be working separating right and left side, side strings. Entire block, I'm going to be doing with 15 pounds dumbbells, guys. So take a look at the demo at your first exercise. This is your bench step with the bicep curl on both hands. Then we step with the right leg, we do the right arm press. We have 10 reps, we do only once, right and left side. Step a little bit wider, so it more looks like a lunge for you at the beginning. Don't forget to step up, little top with your spoon. Right leg, prepare, begin. So left leg on the bench, right press. Again. All on the right, guys. We got this. This is very challenging for me with the 15 pounds weight. All right, my right leg is shaking. We are halfway through. Make a big step, guys. And right arm is shaking as well. Big step, team. Three repetitions, low, guys. Reach, press. Two more, nice and strong. And last one, everyone. Perfect. That was brutal. All right, drink your water. If you have to, I'm gonna skip this water break. Take a look at a second exercise for this round. We're still gonna be using, guys, right leg. This is your right leg gorilla squat with the right cross body bicep curl. Prepare on the position if you have to top your left leg. 
You can do it. 10 reps. Right leg is already tired. Cross body, guys. This is it. We're not in a hurry. I want to make sure everyone have a really good form. If you're using heavy weights, I consider 15 pounds heavy weight. Make sure you don't drop your bicep curl back. You release it with control. With your shoulder steam, make sure you're not dropping your shoulders and rounding your back. All right. Four reps, just in case. I thought it's three, but just in case. Okay, two more guys. Good job. All right, one more on this side. All the way, right side getting tired for sure. All right, let's drink our water. Your exercise number four for this isolated strings is your staggered squat with your row on descent. That's right. Right arm and right leg. What I want to see, my friends, I want to see a good quality row. And when we do the staggered squat, if you have a bench, you're going to be doing it with the bench. If you don't have a bench, you can do it, guys, without the bench. I want to see your left knee almost hitting the bench, if you're doing that on a bench. Staggered it all the way, on descent, your row, begin. Your left knee almost down toward the bench. This is it. Good job, guys. All the way down. Row. Watch your left knee. Try to go a little bit lower in that squat. Sweat is just rolling uncontrollably. We have two more, guys. One more, team. Excellent work. All right. We're going to put one dumbbell back down for right now for the next exercise you need only one dumbbell we're gonna go with the right leg the leg you were using on the floor and your right arm is gonna be doing the row if you have a bench you're gonna put your feet on your bench with me we're gonna go take a look quickly at the demo screen one row one knee to elbow your left leg is going to be doing the crunch, going towards the hand where you hold your dumbbell. Begin, guys. Two. Three. Try to drive your left knee, guys, all the way to the right elbow. Five repetitions left. This is good. Stay with me, don't quit. Good quality roll, guys. One more. This is it. We did it together. Let's drink our water and we're gonna be ready to repeat this block one more time, but from the other side. We're gonna be using the left arm and left leg all the way through, or just opposite to what you use. Okay, your first exercise. Take a look guys again at the demo. Kind of challenging, a little bit complicated. I'm going to be using my 15 pounds on each hand, so it's already total. This is the step on top with bicep curl. 
left lock left right leg is going to go to the top and the left arm is going to go for overhead press step kind of wider away from the bench so it looks more like a lunge at the beginning begin press this is good low press step low guys it's only repetition three I can feel my shoulder very nice all right we're almost halfway through lower guys lower press simultaneously with the topping perfect four reps to conquer this is it all right everyone muscle up by the way don't forget to leave me a comment what weight how many sats you use today final one i know step back awesome all right dumbbells on the bench let's get ready for the gorilla squat cross body bicep curl drink your water if you have to left leg is going to be doing gorilla in left arm is going to be doing your cross body bicep curl i'm having my 15 pounds i'm going to step to the side so you can see the form in the back more prepare tap the floor if you have to begin this is it Nice and low, guys. Imagine what muscles, guys, you're using. Remember, we're working. What we're thinking, we work. Your quad, your glute. Be aware of the dumbbell on the way back of the cross bicep. I want you to extend your arm all the way back. Resist, guys. Only five reps to go. Nice and low. This is perfect. All the way. We have two reps to finish this single leg gorilla squat. One more, guys. We've got this. Excellent. Excellent. We have our exercise number three coming. So let's drink our water. This is your staggered squat on the bench. Your left leg is gonna go on the bench. Your right knee is gonna do the best to hit the bench on the top corner. So you have a really good dip squat here. Feet close, it's not your lunge, it's your staggered squat. We're gonna do the row, left arm on ascent. Going down. All right, here we go. Do not hurry up. This is good. Row right along your waistline. Good job, guys. Lower. Nice job. You should try not to fold your right or left knee in. Your hips are square. Focus on the form, guys. This is it. Give me a couple more reps and we're done. Last one, guys. All right, you're gonna put your one dumbbell on the floor we only need the one dumbbell for exercise number four and this dumbbell will be in your left hand good quality row and then the right leg is going to be doing crunch do it on the floor or on the bench one or other on a bench of course it's a little bit more challenging begin 
try to hit your elbow all the way through. Row it, guys. Don't drop the dumbbell from the row. Row. Halfway through routine. The left leg is on fire while we're doing the right crunch. I'm loving it. I love the full body burn. All right, guys. We have only two repetitions left. Good quality row. One more. We did it. Come on up. All right. Put your dumbbells temporarily up here. You can use any sock, guys, for your finisher. Yes, remember I said we do up a weighted finisher. It's a really challenging exercise. Take a look at your demo on the screen. If you find out you can't walk with the dumbbells, plank in and out, and then you're gonna do this finisher without the weight. All right, team. This is your longer squat. Hop or step to your plank. And we're gonna be walking back. And I'm gonna take my bench actually all the way to the side because we don't we don't need it anymore. It's just taking a little bit space. So with the weights or without weights, progress squat. Hop, step, walk, then we do that deadlift slash squat, walking back, pushing up, back to the frogger. We have eight reps total, it's a long reps, it's gonna be enough. Toes out, prepare, begin. All the way, reaching up. Dead slash tidy squat. This is a really functional exercise you can use in a real life doing this stuff. Of course, without the dumbbells, but it just represents a lot of things, what we're doing. Picking up this stuff, carry, holding, ball, guys. Come on up, that's it. Walk, two, three, four. Try to do it at a four walks. We have only six reps left. Low frogger, squat or step or hop. Yeah. Carefully. One, two, three, four. Prepare to push up. Frogger. Come on down. Coming up. Dead, guys. One, two, three, four. Believe it or not, we have only three reps left. Nice, good quality progress, guys. Step or hop. It's always challenging to begin. To commit to the workout when you know you have to do a lot of work, but rep by rep, step by step, from the point A, we're already at the finishing point B of the strength part of this workout. Let's go. All right, my friends, final rep. Let's do the best we can. Ready? Just like in the real life, it's challenging to start or scary sometimes. New winter. But once we do it, gather all the resources together, all the energy, all the planning, and the most important thing, doing massive amount of work 
that becomes much easier. All right, my friends, I'm gonna stack my dumbbells, my 15 pounders on my bench. We don't need any weights anymore today. Let's just keep the space clean. And I have a Pilates style, abs focused finisher for you today. You can keep your shoes, you can take them out either way. Definitely stay hydrated. We did work really, really hard and we will begin guys in our plank. For the second part of this Pilates inspired up session, focus up session, I will take you on your back. All right guys, this is your mountain climber again, but this time we're gonna go and hit knee to the elbow go to the dolphin do it again go to the plank and do it again just like on the demo here we go we have 10 total reps so this is your one repetition let's go guys come on up come on down team Number four, already, time is flying. Come on back up, five. Ready, hit, halfway through. I know, don't quit. Keep on working guys, just follow along. I got you covered with the wraps. You don't need to count it unless you're moving much slower or much faster. <sighs> Only two repetitions left, guys. Let's go. <sighs> Come on up. One more. <sighs> One, two, rest. That was very challenging. Your next exercise. In your downward facing dog to you to your plank. I know your arms is a little bit tired. This is a good thing. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go plank or reach across to your ankle. Make sure your hands are not sweaty and you are really steady in the dog and in your plank. We're already working, my friends. Keep on working. We have 10 repetitions total. One rep, it's a right and left side combine. So it's a 20 ankle touches. Brace, guys. We are halfway through. Try to reach all the way across. And before you reach, get all the way back, guys, in your dog, in your plank. Cover your hips in a neutral line. Try not to drop them beyond 90 degrees. Keep on working, guys. Good job. All right, we have a couple more reps just in case to cover this one. All the way reach. And last thing I'll touch, guys. Good job. Come on down on your knees. We're gonna go for the side kneeling crunches. This is gonna be your elbow to your knee and then your straight arm to your straight left. This is your one rep. We're gonna do 10 on each side. Begin. This is your one rep. Two. Give me a quality crunches all the way knee to the elbow. We are not in a hurry. I want to see all 10 reps with a great quality. Elbow to your knee. The power comes from the center of your waistline. Summer, guys, is the next door. Your motivation. Keep on breathing. Crunch it, guys. We hop on this. Couple more reps left. And last one. 
arm and leg on a straight one, 90 degrees. Excellent. Feels good. We're gonna give a rest to our other arm and this arm is gonna go on the floor. I want to see good quality engaged movements when you feel each and every inch of your body. Side crunch to the straight left crunch, guys. Incredibly powerful exercise for waistline if it's done right. From the center, begin. One, touch. Two, touch. Three, try not to drop your leg, guys. Try not to drop your leg. Four, straight front. This is it, straight front. We have three more, just in case, two more, guys. And one more. Perfect. This is it. All right. We're gonna go on our back right now. We have a lot of lower leg holds. We have some progress for the lower abs and some straddles. Come on down. We will begin with your lower leg hold to your proger. If you want to activate your entire abdomen even more, then take your shoulders off the ground with me for my beginners. You guys can keep your head and shoulders on the floor. Straddle, toes out, open them all the way. Lower leg hold, your proger. Your heels, guys, 90 degrees on your proger. 45 on your straddle. Above the floor, I mean. Push it. We have 10 total. Try to keep your lower back consistently on the floor. All right, guys. Let's set the intentions for the day. Whenever it becomes really strong, really challenging and something strong you have to complete. I'm not talking about the workout right now. Just remember, it's a temporarily. And then as you take step by step, you can resolve any challenge, guys. There is no problems. There is only challenges for us to conquer. And it's a good reframe for any situation. Once you call it a problem, it's a really hard to resolve. But once it's a challenge, you can always find a resolution. One more, guys. Oh, shit. This was hard. Go ahead and put your knees over to your belly and give yourself a, a gentle inhalation and exhalation. Another lower leg hold to your jackknife, guys. If you can do your lower leg hold with your extended legs, you will do it with your knees back. All the way, legs down. Hold it, four, three, jackknife. Lower back on the floor, guys, all the time when you do your lower leg hold. Lower left hold. Come on up. Down total, my friends. Stay with me. Halfway through already. Only four repetitions to finish. Only two, guys. Last one. All the way down, hold. Put your feet on the floor. Let your head and neck to get a quick rest. And your reps. Your next exercise, guys, today is your pendulum. Seems like a very easy exercise. However, it's a really effective for the waistline. When it's done properly, I need you to keep your feet and your knees the same distance as you started as you decline on that side rotation. Try to keep your both shoulders on the floor, shoulder blades. It doesn't have to be all the way till the ground, guys. Come on back and give it a little gentle hover right there. You've got this. Knees and feet, the same 
distance and the same height. Do not drop your feet, guys. Keep your feet on the level with your knees. We have four repetitions total. And give me two more. Give me one more. Excellent work. We're gonna go for the bridge in a single leg lift. Seems like it has nothing to do with your abs, but it actually does. It has to do with a structure or a strong, slender waistline, which is include your obliques internal and external, and includes, of course, your lower back. But if you have some, a little bit is great. When it's a lot, it doesn't look really good, but we want to have a little bit of a fat. We don't want to be strictly bones and muscles, right? A little bit fat is really good. All right, go ahead and lift your leg. This is great exercise for your lower abs. And of course, it does work your core and your glute on supportive leg. We have 10 on each leg. Try to keep your hips, guys, nice and high. We have four, three, higher, guys, two, and one. Excellent. We go ahead and switch the legs. Make sure you rest really nice through the glute, guys. Prepare, hips up. Begin. One, two, lift the hips. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, only two. Oh, we got this. All right, my friends, we have final exercise of our Pilates Inspire up focus session. We're gonna go for the roll up to your teaser. Incredibly challenging, especially after what we did today, but we will finish together. We have only 10 repetitions. Come on up, guys. Perfect. Watch your abdomen. Abs in and tight, reach, smile, all the way back. Think about how much challenging and sweaty work we already did and it's already behind and reflected on your daily routines. Sometimes it's again challenging to commit to certain stuff and as a human beings, we procrastinate, all of us, I don't know who doesn't, but it just depends how we're handling it. But if you reframe it and put on it a step-by-step -step map, it becomes much more easier. This is it. All right, guys, we have only three repetitions to finish. You've got this. Come on up. Give me the best form you can give to yourself. Last repetition, guys. Hold it with me for four, four, three, four, two, and one. I am so proud of you. Let's stretch those abs and arms in reverse tabletop. Reach all the way, hips up. Hold it with me for just a few seconds. Three, guys. Two. And all the way back. Come on back down. Go ahead and extend your legs. And give me a quality spinal stretch. All you have to do is just to bring your belly towards your quadricep, towards your thighs, and your chest towards your knees. Not the other way. Your forehead is going last. We're not going at all there today. That is okay. Your flexibility will improve pretty quickly. 
if you make a peace with your yoga practice i know a lot of you still not incredibly happy doing the yoga on fridays and sundays but if you trust me a little bit by now some of you working out with me for two and a half years almost three years i hope you trust me i've been doing yoga for 25 years and I can testify, and I have my students. I see it every single day for 10, 15 years, and I can see the difference. Doesn't matter when you started in your 20s, 30s, 50s, 60s, and even 70s. It doesn't matter. Go ahead and look about the one shoulder. You will reap an incredible benefit. Guys. Your life will change. Your physical condition will change if you will start to do your yoga you don't have to call it yoga you can call it a flexibility exercises any other way you like but it's really important to include into your daily routines and if you start today 10 years later you will remember my words and you're gonna feel yourself 10 years younger than today this is the one thing i can promise you for sure all right Give me a couple more extra inhalations, exhalations here. Go ahead and look all the way behind the other shoulder. Flexible body, a live body. We're gonna make a transition to the kneeling position. Your way, you don't have to do it my way. Up and down, just a couple of movements here. This is good, feels so nice. And go ahead and tap your toes. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let your neck drop completely. And walk with me, guys, all the way up. Go ahead and step wider. All the way in elevation. Exhalation, my friends. Give it to yourself one more time. The gift of the breast cleansing one, deep one and fantastic outstanding amazing job guys i know you're working hard over there if that if that was your first workout with us welcome if you can do this you can do anything comes your way in this world make sure guys to subscribe help me to share the videos with others give your friends and loved ones or even a random person a gift of health rest well recover well and i will see you all tomorrow